LPT when choosing a restaurant and your partner says I don't care where we go. Don't make any suggestions at all. Don't ask any questions. Don't even say where you're going. Just say okay I know a place. The go where you want. Open the door for them. And get a table. This avoids the no, not that one endless loop of the I don't care but I'll veto your suggestions. My brother and his wife can never decide. The open decision is too much for them. We have had a bunch of issues dealing with them. But he is my brother. And I still want to maintain a relationship. Going out to dinner seems like something we can all manage. But we go way less frequent. My latest strategy is working good. We tell them we are going to restaurant X. Usually one they like. And ask if they want to join us. So the decision is go. Or don't go. Not where. Good luck. My wife and I just think about it until we are so hungry we just eat what's in the house. Our strategy. One person offers three suggestions. The other person picks one. If they don't want to name places. Other person offers three suggestions. A better solution. Works best in groups anyone who vetoes a suggestion. It's now their turn to make the next suggestion. Wouldn't that be worse though? If they didn't like it they'd be all ugh. I can't find anything I like on this menu. This place sucks and your evening is unpleasant. I found that someone does need to take charge when there's waffling. But it's better to say okay. Or, that way the parameters are defined but they still have a choice between two places so that would reduce complaining. I feel like I'm the only one who always agrees. Or at least is on the same wavelength. With my spouse on what food to get. Do I get a prize or something? Just say guess where we are going wherever they say you go. My method is to suggest a place I enjoy but they won't enjoy. Why do this? Because then it forces the other person to truly consider the question where should we eat. If the other person knows you're going to suggest the same thing over and over again. A place they don't like but you do. They'll quickly learn to tell you exactly what they want instead of going back and forth with you. My wife says this is the dumbest LPT she has seen and she would leave me there. Also this in no way means she's picked some place to eat. We need to argue at least 15 more minutes before deciding on some place neither of us wanted to go. 2. This isn't a real thing. Is it? I've never had this issue. We always just have a quick discussion and decide. When I say I owe don't mind. I actually mean it. Feel free to scoop up fries from a dumpster and hand them to me. As the partner who often says that this is the perfect solution. Thank you. If I say I don't care it's either because I genuinely don't or because I don't have the mental energy to make a decision. Just pick something. Luckily, my husband knows this and is mostly okay with it. Also applies to literally every other situation you can think of. The veto rule has worked pretty well. Suggest a place. If they don't like it, they have to suggest something. Then you can veto their choice and select another if you don't want that. Either you'll find something you both want or someone is tired of looking after three rounds and acquiesces. Either way it's over in 10 minutes instead of one person throwing things at a wall for 30 minutes. And ending up frustrated and hungry. It's so funny to see the people who obviously aren't in relationships. They always have this logical advice like just say this or do that. Like really dude. You think married men haven't tried this stuff before. You think you in the 4 or 5 seconds of thought you have given this actually came up with a solution that all married men have been searching for for decades. Then drive straight to McDonald's. Lol. I love how you make it seem like the worst of it is no. Not there. Somewhere else. No not there either. I've had to put up with oh yeah that sounds good until we're halfway there and then it's um. I don't really want to go there. But that other place sounds good. 
Let's do that until we're halfway to place 2 and it's I'm sorry I don't want that either. This is the answer. Say we are going to your favorite place and then she will blurt out the name of the place. My fiancé and I play a 5, 2, 1 game. I pick 5 places. She picks 2 out of the 5 and she picks from those 2. We evolved to starting with 3 choices and play pick 1 or eliminate 1. A thing I like to do with friends is say. Oh why don't to that place you really like. What's its name? And appear to actually be trying to remember. And then when they guess. Say yes that one only works if you genuinely don't care. Or know your friend likes the same sorts of food as you. Ask them what they don't want to eat. People are much better at expressing dislike. Yep, I literally just drive somewhere while my wife tries to guess where I've picked. Op managed to scrape through the bottom of the barrel with this pro tip. I use the two options method instead. I pick two places I like and you pick from those two. I'm happy with either place. So you won't disappoint me. And you still get to pick. Works for movies too. I put my foot down one year and said okay if we can't decide we are going to Pizzeria Uno. That is the default now. It was odd BC we didn't love or hate the place and never really went a lot. But after that every time I said okay going to Uno they would come up with another place. I think we only end up going there three times in like 10 years open mouth smile. When whomever I'm with says. I don't know. Or. I don't care. I will offer two options to them both that I like and would like to eat at that time. It is much easier to pick between two than to pick randomly from dozens. This way I get something I chose and the other person feels like s he made the choice and will. Also be happy. Just don't go to one you know your partner doesn't like. But. Sometimes the relationship needs some time on the endless loop of where I don't care but not there. So where? Can confirm that picking a place with no feedback is a great idea especially if your partner is allergic to gluten or nuts. I'm on my third wife now and they are always surprised when we go out to eat. My wife and I keep tabs on places we want to try and write them on popsicle sticks. When we want to go someplace we draw a stick. We do veto if we really want but it's usually fine. We just take turns picking. Op is living in the year 3000. Just roll a d4. The moment you throw it you'll know what you really wanted. As someone who does all of the cooking and food decisions. I like it when my partner does this. It shows me that. When I need a break. He will pick up all of the decision making responsibilities smiling face. I always just suggest a place I know my wife likes. The safe route. When I ask her what she wants. And she says she doesn't know care. I just start driving to her favorite spot. Instructions unclear. Standing now in a swinger club and my wife is going in for a sausage fest. Which I am not sure is related to eating. Friend ended up making a pair of dice with restaurants on the faces, honestly pretty smart. She or I or both come up with a list of four places. Rock paper scissors decides one by one one which restaurant gets removed based on the winner of the game. When it is down to two places. Obviously we play best three out of five. The winner gets the satisfaction of winning and I get to eat. Win win win. You truly underestimate my own indecisiveness. I will try this, my wife is one of those no not that one types. I always give my C three options and make her chose one. This has worked every time so far. Take M to the local gas station hot dog rolling rack. Works every time. My husband and I used to have a jar with restaurant names in them to pick at random. We would just let the jar choose. 